Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So I have a Tuesday morning haul to share with you. My Spellbinders die subscription came in and um, I got some happy mail. Totally not expected. I'm super um, excited about it. And um, yeah. So um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hope you stick around to spell. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Um, I try to get back to everybody. Um, it does take me a little bit, um, but I do eventually get back to you. Um, you know, if you have an immediate um, question, my email is in the description. Send it back, and um, I usually reply within a, a day or so. Um, and I, hey, you know what, guys? I'm back to saying I'm a lot. Slap my hand. Um, slap it again. I want to start off with, I had a question, and I can't find the comment for some reason. But I know somebody had asked me for the skew on this Cuddlebug plate. So I'm gonna share it here and I'll add it in the description below uh, because the, like I mentioned, the Cuddlebugs Cricut is doing away with. So if you like see anything Cuddlebug plate related, I would pick it up. Cause I, you know, I don't know how long they're gonna keep them out for sale. I know I had seen them on clearance at a couple of places, but I didn't think the prices were that great. But So here is the um, A plate, the base. And again, $7.99, there is the skew. And I'll try to remember to stick it in the description. So there's that. So I'm going to set that aside. Next, I'm going to show you my Spellbinders um, Club. Let's see. So they they have monthly kits. I think they have, they have like a card kit. They have a glimmer foil kit. They have a die kit, they have a whole bunch of kits, and there's different combinations that you can get them in. I only, I do, t I do the Glimmer Foil kit, and I do the, the combination large and small die. So uh, this is what came today. So I've mentioned to y'all, I love scooters and like Vespas. And so if you can see, these are all the parts to a scooter. I'm going to, I'm thinking of, I'm moving stuff out of the craft room again and like working in a box at a time, trying to, you know, make progress on the craft room. But I think I'm going to dig out my Gemini just to speed through the die cutting process because I want to see this guy put together because it's super, super cute. This is the May uh, uh, dies of the month. So this is the small, this is the large. You can either order them separate or together. You can order them in combination, I think, with like the card kit. I'll include a link to like their subscription page. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. You know, again, I share with you guys what I think is a great deal. And, but I, I will let you know, I do have some affiliate uh, connections in the works and when I start doing that I'll, I'll let you guys know but this is a subscription that I've been with for a little while and so I think I'm more excited about the small die than I am the large and I haven't looked to see what exactly it says layer cake sparkles so you can see the sparkly uh, candles I guess here's your pennant I'm assuming that these are like layers of the cake and you can stack them. Those look like candles there, some balloons, a pennant, flowers, so we can decorate the cake. I'm going to have to go hunt down the videos because I haven't seen this one. And honestly, I didn't pay any attention to what they were this month. I know I'm excited about the June, but so anyway, so that is my Spellbinders subscription, the um, die of the month, the small and large. And on to the happy mail. Again, I got a notification yesterday, but I had a, a pounding headache. So I just kind of came straight home and I crashed. Uh, my son said he came home from work and I was just 
cutting down the Amazon rainforest because of my apparently I was snoring really good. Woke up, my head was still killing me, so I took my you know my night dose for my back and I went to bed, and so that that was just that. But on the way home today, I did stop by the UPS store. And I had some happy mail from Miss Bambi Olson. Um, she is a regular uh, on my channel. Um, super sweet. Always enjoy her comments. And I was not expecting this. So and she says, sorry I forgot the card. You know, I... I, I don't expect or, you know, ask for happy mail. I am just... I am thankful that, you know, you guys enjoy me enough to keep coming back to see either what I found or the progress of the craft room or, you know, just whatever happens to cross my mind, the adventures of karma. And to me, I am so thankful and I'm so grateful that if you guys, you know, think enough of me, you know, to take the time to either make stuff or put together um, happy mail and send it my way. And the funny thing is, is it always seems to come at times where um, it's been rough. I mean, today was a good day. Tomorrow was that. Yesterday was the headache day. But, you know, we all have that. But it really means a lot to me. And I am, I have a little book that I'm keeping uh, because once I'm done stressing about the craft room, I have... I have a whole a list of wonderful ladies that I want to send thanks out to, and um, and I'll and I'll start announcing when those start going out, but I won't say who, so just so y'all can start expecting it. Uh, just because I'm so thankful for you know you guys uh, enjoy you know coming back, supporting my channel, the the love and the kindness that you guys send you know send to the mail again, not expected but so appreciated. And, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I do have uh, some hidden giveaways that I'm planning on over the next week. So please be on the lookout for those because they're coming. I did open this up, but I haven't looked inside. So let's take a peek uh, to see what Miss Bambi sent. Love Happy Mail. So super excited. So got an ink spot there. Got some Project Life, and let's see, oh, come on, oh, okay, glitter, it looks like glitter glue, glitter glue, I love sparkly, sparkly, blingy, uh, I can definitely put this to use, I have, uh, I think this is going to be... I have a lot that I want to do this year for Christmas, so I will definitely be pulling these out for some Christmas projects. My, oh, darn it. I'm dropping stuff. I have I have decided that it's going to take me a while to finish my craft room, so here's the plan. The plan is, regardless if the craft room is done or not, come the end of this month, I am going to start sharing process videos with you guys and at, at, at least at least once every other week I still want to focus mainly on the craft room but I have been promising you guys for well over a year that I was going to do process and 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 share you know projects with you and it just I feel like I'm never going to be done and that's not fair to you guys and I'm tired of not being crafty so starting in July there's going to be a minimum of two process videos a month because, I mean, you guys know I kind of keep a really funky schedule. And I want to be able to do that and still have time to work on the craft room and hopefully complete it sometime soon. Um, I feel like it's a never-ending process. Anyway, back to the Happy Mail. So great glitter glue. I will definitely be putting this to use. Thank you, Miss Bambi. Super cute little coin purse, and it's like a pinky purple. You guys know I like pink. So, and it's got a neat little holographic look to it, so I can definitely use this. I, I, um, 
I always carry all kinds of little pouches in my purse. So I can, I will definitely put this to you. Super, super cute. Thank you, Miss Bambi. I love it. And it looks like it's coming across really neat on the camera. So I, I hope it shows like I'm seeing it right now because super cute. Pink, like pink. This says Ash Rose Versa Craft. So this is a craft ink. So I can use it on fabric, paper, wood. Um, I haven't used craft ink in a while, although I have quite a bit of it because I love, I love how it works. I just, I haven't used it because it is, it is an ink that takes a while to dry, but great stuff. So, and beautiful color. I will be using that. Absolutely. And then we have, it's called Photo Overlays Sweet Edition Before and After. Okay. So here is a look at each one, and let's see, let me pull the card out. We're actually going to take a peek. I enjoy overlays. I have, I've only kind of started getting into pocket scrapbooking within the past two years, and I believe these have a uh, little plastic covers to, you know, so they aren't scratched. So you can use it either way. You can use it like that over your picture or you can flip it. You can turn it to the side if you want to do a, a horizontal image in your book. Then we have some arrows. I guess they don't know which way they want to go, huh? That They're going back and forth. <laughs> then we have What a Lovely Day and Je t'aime. So like those. Then we have Smile. I like that. That's really pretty. Then we have The Camera Loves You. I'll definitely be using that on my daughter. Love that. And then we have Lovely. And <clears throat> we have Sweet. And I picked these up together. And actually, I guess if you wanted to, you could layer the flowers with the, the word bubbles. Otherwise, you have the pretty flowers. Oh. And then we have some curly cues. Some looking good. And what a day. So, uh, I absolutely love this, this Happy Mail, Miss Bambi. It is... Uh, you know, I, I can't thank you enough. So fun. And it was it was a really nice surprise when I checked my email. And there it was saying hello. So I'll put that away at the end. I'm going to stick these goodies over there. <clears throat> so thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Bambi. Love you to pieces. It will definitely be put to use. Next, I'm going to share... What I, this is two trips to Tuesday morning, my local Tuesday morning in Universal City. Um, it's right there by Selma, Live Oak area, if you're familiar with the San Antonio area. Um, I have found out, I have a couple of viewers who are here in my local vicinity. So I just want to say, hey guys, hopefully I see you around. Maybe you'll recognize my chubby hands. I'll... And I'll tell you what, I promise next month when I start doing the process videos, I will actually sit down and I'll do a, a video where you can actually see my face. I, I do not like pictures of myself, um, but I will, I will do that because I mean, it's, you guys have been hanging around for quite some time, so I'll be doing that as well. And maybe we'll have like a, a Q and A chat session. So, um, let me figure that out and um be looking for that so we are going to start with i found uh, i had one of these when i was a little girl a little um, needle threader and not that i really need one i'm pretty good at threading the needle but my hubby was having some issues the other day and so i thought this might be handy <clears throat> it was 4.99 which i thought was kind of pricey but I guess that's a lot better than the sixteen twenty five that they says retail because I would never pay that. So there's that. Finally found some of the Maggie Holmes that's making its come around again. Uh, my store didn't get a lot of it, but I found some of the tassels, so I picked up two of those. 
there is the skew for those. Some of you have asked why I keep show why I'm showing this skew because I found out that there are still areas of the country that the 800 product locator is still working. So I have had some luck with it. It is hit and miss, and um, I've heard that it's just something that is being phased out. So just putting that out there. Next, my store got in some Martha Stewart Crafts Home Decor. This is eggshell. This color is called Flame Tree. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it says it's normally $10.00. And these were $2.49, so 75% off. I might go back and see if there's some more colors. My store got in a mass. Apparently, the truck they got in this week was double the size they normally get. And so they're still unpacking. And it came Tuesday. So I may attempt to go take a peek again tomorrow to see what else came out. Found uh, this one, and it's called Ash Gray. Again, two forty nine, and who knows what product you know what I might come up with. And then this one is called Trellis. So there's those, and they're all an eggshell finish. Next, making sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, picked up some batteries. My husband goes through batteries like crazy, and. Um, I was there, these were there, so they made it onto the checkout aisle. So there's that. Next, uh, some alphas. These I thought would be really great for some Christmas projects. So $1.99, $214,7208. Now, I, I did have a comment on my last haul of alphas, and it was a valid comment question. So I have commented in the past that I don't like alphas, but I do haul a lot. What I, the alphas that I don't like are the kind that it's like a solid sheet. So say like this whole sheet is white and then say the, all the A's are printed, all the alphas are printed, and then they're kind of like cut like blocks, if that makes sense. I don't like those because... Number one, there's no dimension. I like dimension in all the project on all my projects. There's always, you rarely see me do anything that's going to be a single layer. That's just how I craft. And the other thing is, is I use certain types of rulers. So like if I want my, my font or my script to have a flow to it, it doesn't look good when you use alphas like that. So I'm always... It's either puffy chipboard or foam mounted alphas that you'll usually see me purchase. On occasion, you'll see me get something that is a flat, but I have something in mind for it. So just wanted to, to answer that question. I think I answered her directly, but I don't think that how I worded it came out right. So just wanted to address that. But yes, I do love alphas. I just don't like those teeny tiny little ones that are all flat square stickers. <clears throat> Finally found some of these ideology items that everybody's been hauling. These are little like ice eyelet screws. And it's like a antique bronze, copper, and pewter, I guess, for $1.99. And I thought I might be able to use these on either some wall pieces or in some of the mini albums that I have, uh, that projects that I want to work on. Back to the cuddle bug. My store got in these magnetic cutting mats. And I didn't have one before and I decided for $9 I'd pick one up. I probably should have grabbed the other one that was in the buggy. I figure if I go tomorrow and it's still there, I'll grab it just so I have a spare. So there's that. Because again, remember, Cuddlebug's being discontinued. So it's kind of like what you find is what's out there. I found these. They're called Moxie Glitter. I'm assuming the collection is called Jewel Thief. They're by American Crafts. Apparently, normally, 
$7.99. I got them for $3.99, so basically 50% off. The colors are Cotton Candy, Lip Gloss, Amethyst, Marine, Aqua, and Cricut. And let's see. There were two, and I grabbed them both because, like I told you, I like glitter. I like bling. I don't care if I'm wearing glitter for days. Um, my husband jokes when I do. Um, actually, he does, he thinks it's funny because at least he knows I'm, I'm using the goodies. <laughs> so these are, they're actually not very big little pots. I mean, they look big, but I mean, if you look at that, look how shallow that is. So I would say, oh, this is going to be messy. Yeah, that was not smart on my part. It's everywhere. So anyway, I grabbed two of those. I definitely would not have paid $8. If I paid $8 for that, I would have been really upset. So I picked up two for four apiece. They are very messy. I might have to see about moving them into some other containers. So there's that. I found, um, I saw somebody else haul this. This is kind of like a mini book um, shadow box or like trinket box. So you can do whatever you want. The pockets, you can open up and all the little boxes come out so you can de decorate them separately. And for $3.99, uh, my store only had one or I would have grabbed some more. Then they had this one for $4.99, normally $10.99. So that was $6 off. And so it includes removable clear window. So apparently there's, so this is a lid and there's acetate on top. So you could decorate this in different scenes or... I don't know. We'll see what I come up with it. But if they'd had more of this one, I would have grabbed another one of those. We're almost done, y'all. Y'all know I love laser cut chipboard. And so they had a whole bunch of these. I only grabbed the two. $1.99. There's the skew. I thought they were really pretty. So there's that. They had this Illustrated Faith. These are called Basics Paper Pieces. $1.99. The SKU. And I loved that there were like some art pieces in here. Tools. Of course, the flamingos. Let's see. So I had to jump into my cart. Little pennants. I love the cactus. Camera. Um, if I go back tomorrow and there's another one, I'll probably grab it. I really like this one. <clears throat> Like I said, little only a little bit of Maggie Holmes came in, so the Puffy Hearts. Anytime I see the Puffy Hearts, I snatch them up. Um, and I'm not ashamed. I grab them all. If there's four there, I would have grabbed four. Because I'm not a big heart person. I'm sure you'll notice I don't grab a lot of stuff with hearts on it. But I do love these, and I think these can be used in uh, a whole bunch of different projects. And uh, themes, not just Valentine's. So, had to grab those. Then, I grabbed, I can't remember who I saw haul these the other day. Um, but, I love this one, of course, for the, the palm tree and the flip-flops. Now, the flip-flops are covered up by the price tag. But there's an image up there and it comes with a little bitty embossing folder. Here's the skew. And this one is called Beach. Let's see if I'll show you what the dies look like. There's your itty bitty, and that's an itty bitty embossing folder. And there's your dies. Um... Oh, another pop of the hand. I said, um, 
I want to say it was Daniela or maybe it was Crafton by the Pond or Crafton. I can't remember which one of my ladies it is that was hauling this, but she had a really great idea. She said that she uses the sun here, these pieces to make little miniature like pennant ribbons, you know, have the little ribbons popping out the back. And um, so I thought that was a great idea. So I'm going to give that little idea a try and see how that turns out. So there's that. And then last but not least, I grabbed, of course, you guys know me, and travel. And uh, this one is $4.99. Uh, $219,725. And we'll pull this one out. This one is luggage and airplane. A uh, globe. Oh, come on. No. Here we go. Give it up. And then it says seek your globe, the airplane, and your luggage. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm going to be taking some baby powder to this sticky stuff when I finally put this away because I'm, I'm going to be using my little pockets that I use so that's it guys that is my haul my wonderfully sweet happy meal from miss bambi and um yeah so like i said by the end of this month whether the craft room is done or not i promise uh process videos in some shape or form are gonna start up at minimum of twice a day i have some hidden videos that are, are hidden videos hidden giveaways that are coming up. So kind of keep an eye out for that. I won't be announcing them. They won't be in the description. You'll just have to watch and find out. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week so far. Have some fun stuff planned for the weekend. As always, love you guys to pieces and happy crafting. Bye-bye.